Essentially, if you know what friendship is, witchcraft is, that's us. Except that. Way <laughs> second that, okay. You have the best song. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, okay, so we have a bit of a lineup for you. Now, uh, we're solving the technical difficulties here right now, so we have an episode for you all tonight. Brand new. No one has ever seen this. The patrons have not even seen this. So I haven't seen it. Neither have I. Half <laughs> of the cast of seen it. here has not seen it. So we it's very exclusive. <laughs> you guys will be the first to see it. Then uh, we will have a Q&A session afterward. And uh, after that, we have, for the last 10 minutes, we'll have a trivia giveaway. We have a ton of neat stuff for you guys. We have some mouse pads. Very just uh, custom mouse pads, you'll see those in a second. And t-shirts, we have t-shirts right here. <laughs> <laughs> so, Talk about the, just, <laughs> the snack. The <laughs> snack. <laughs> snack. Can we just say anything snack. about the snack? <laughs> Hello. Hello. Uh, <laughs> <okay. laughs> Alright, so before we get into all that, I just want to make some couple acknowledgements and everything, I like to do that. Uh, so, the team you see up here, this is just kind of the core team of Scooter Tricks. These are the people who come back over and over again. But really, Scooter Tricks is just sort of this huge collaboration of about 20 or so people who put their, you know, voices or animations into it. And I just want to say thank you all to them. Uh, some of them are here with us tonight. We have uh, uh, Kitty Kitaronicus here, who did uh, several voices, including what was it? Dumbbell from the. <laughs> and also a key member of uh, Friendship is for Adults, for any of you fans of Friendship is for Adults. Yeah. Yeah. We also have uh, Jared Fang out here. He's done some green screening, and uh, right over here. Yeah. And we have some big, uh, big Apple Pie, who has been an editor for the series. Does, uh, I just want to say thank you to them, and then thank you to all of you for coming out. This is way more than we thought we were going to show up, so thank you all very much. <laughs> We've made bets, and you, you'd be old. <laughs> so, I'm not quite a bet. What can you even see that? What was the longest you bet on? Zero. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> um, you don't have to divulge that. 
Okay. Yeah, okay, so uh, we're still having technical difficulties, so we can start with the Q&A session right now. Uh, we have a box. Yeah, right there. So if you want to, if you have any questions, uh, just go to the little box and uh, write down your questions. We have pens. I guess the person going over there will find out. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Hey, hey, hey. Yes. Do you need to ask questions. questions about abridging, questions about editing, questions about voice acting? We can take anything you would like. Art. You know. What is scooter tricks? We haven't seen anything about this. What is My Little Pony? We'll answer. <laughs> so for those who aren't familiar with Scooter Tricks, Jack, how long has the show been going? Uh, so we passed our, well, uh, so Scooter Tricks Studios passed its four-year anniversary just a couple weeks ago. So, have you all been paying attention to the uh, different ranking contests Jack's been putting out there as far as oh, the polls? Yeah, the polls on YouTube. Okay, all right, we want to make sure that people get involved with that so we really do identify who is the best princess. <laughs> no, it's not. You know. <laughs> it's not accurate. We all know who it is. <laughs> all right, it's Celestia. Yeah. <laughs> I am Princess Celestia. I am the superior princess. <laughs> Do you guys want to hear a funny story? <laughs> so, uh, we have a poster here. And, uh, yeah, okay, so we have a poster. We have a great poster. It's basically this shirt. Uh, we've been getting all cast and crew members to sign it. And uh, Josh Scorcher did a guest voice for our series. And uh, so basically, uh, we finally track him down, you know, and he's looking at, and uh, we say, hey, can you sign this poster? He's like, yeah, sure, you know, I'll do that. And uh, he's looking at the poster, and everyone signed it, and Chris has signed uh, over Luna's uh, picture in it. They've put, it's like, oh, you know, Chris Galvez, best princess with a little squiggly line pointing at the thing. And Josh, he's a huge fan of Celestia, and so he puts right next to it, second. <laughs> <laughs> so now forever, Luna will be second best princess. Oh, 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 oh. I think that all depends on the writers. Okay, oh, oh looks like we got some questions yeah, rolling. Let's, um, we have these are questions. Let's divide them. Yeah, okay. Uh, so let's see, any, okay, so here's the first question. Any tips for a beginner who wants to start their own abridged series? Let's see. Uh, well, I would say, you know, we'll start small. That's kind of been a common theme, I think, with a lot of panels. Start small. I would suggest doing just either yourself or a team of like two or three. Uh, for me, that just keeps it very stable. Uh, you know, because if you have like a large team, it just everything just falls apart. I've only seen it's just Wonder Kid over here who has like twenty people working for him. He's the only series I've seen going past like five episodes. So, but I would highly advise just do like, start out small and then you can kind of go out. If you want guest stars or one time people just, you know, do that. Uh, make sure your sound is good. That's like the most important thing. I have seen series where I just turn it off like after the first two seconds because I know it's going to be horrible because the sound is like really bad. Uh, so make sure your sound is good. And then uh, pretty much just have fun with it overall, I think. Th those are kind of my key things. Uh, always try to get better, try to learn more about writing and, uh, you know, that kind of thing. So I also want to jump in on a beginner for starting to write series. Hi, me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll uh, jump in real quick. The, uh, just because I got to see sort of from the sidelines everything that Jack was going through. He was off of college when he was doing this. Uh, I, I am not his better looking younger brother. No, he's a misprint. I am his father. Um, but when he, you know, so he went through a lot in getting everybody together, 
obviously we have people from different countries, you have people in different states people moving around. So when you start off to make it a bridge series, it, it's, it's a lot of work, but I mean, you had a blast doing it and it was a lot of fun. So don't get hung up on the work part, just go for the fun part. And at the end of the day, you're gonna end up with something pretty impressive. Uh, I'd like to add a little bit as well. Um, me and Jack started Scooter Tricks. It was just me, him, uh, my brother, and like some other family members for voice actors, and we didn't really, you know, know exactly what we were doing. We didn't know many other bridge series besides witch witchcraft. And we're like, we're gonna beat witchcraft, yeah. <laughs> and we just kind of rolled with it. Failed. We failed. <laughs> Does anyone know uh, Bean Quest? Any uh, Bean Quest fans out there? Yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Starting with uh, me as Twilight, yes. yes. Well, that was quick. And we started Scooter Tricks from the Ashes, so uh, you know it all worked out in the end. Even if it's bad, you can make something good from it, so don't worry if it's bad. Just keep doing what you love. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we have our next question here. Um, what was the one major moment? This is for all of us. What was the one major moment in all the work where we said, this is a bad idea? <laughs> well, <laughs> now that I'm sitting here, we have all the technical difficult. I guess now. <laughs> yeah, so you think this through. Uh, so you all think it's a good idea. No, no, no. no. Uh, yeah, absolutely not. I can jump in on this one too. Uh, as one of the writers on Scooter Tricks. I have had many, many bad ideas. I find that out from the director. Um, but it, who saw episode 23? So 23, Applejack, the whole mom story. Okay, that had like three different versions uh, that were like full scripts written up, but they, they just didn't fit. They just didn't work. So I mean, there were a plethora of bad ideas. I wrote a 60-page movie that is never going to see the light of day. <laughs> Because there's like, it's in a bridge series, there's no footage, you know, and I'm like, Jack comes to me and we can't do any of this stuff, there's no, we don't have any of this. So like, okay, bad ideas. So, there's a lot of bad ideas on my side of the house. Ooh, I have a good one, actually. Um, so, there's actually a, a PMV in the works. I've uh, been in the works since 2014. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make this really nice PMV for everybody. It's going to be in 60 FPS, the new standard. That was a really bad idea. <laughs> Converting GIFs to 60 FPS is really challenging, especially when they're mostly 12 FPS. So, uh, yes, that was my bad idea. I was probably staying up at one point until like 4 until 4 a.m. making the scene. That was fine. <laughs> okay, thank you. Doing that? Well, um, do you mean like was the panel a bad idea? <laughs> <laughs> Serious. Um, because if we're only talking about the panel, it would have had to be when everybody started walking in and I realized how many people there were going to be here. <laughs> Tonight, but if we're talking about the series, probably like the first script Jack sent me, <laughs> because um, he sent it to me out of context, and <laughs> those lines out of context sounded a little bit questionable. Um, so I didn't know what I was getting myself into. <laughs> <laughs> the end. <laughs> I think it's uh, I think it's always the line we quote. It's like it's like um, Celestia's like oh, Luna. You must apologize. And Luna moans. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sorry, Celestia. Said, yeah, you better be sorry. <laughs> yeah. Well, he only sent me those lines, and I was like, what are we producing? <laughs> All right, uh, I got another question. So, actually, I've got two questions. Um, the first one is a little easier to answer. I'll go with that, and then uh, we come up to the second. Is season two something you would want to have happen? Um, from my standpoint, I think the the fandom continues, everything continues. But uh, personally, as one of the writers, I would kind of like to see everything kind of brought to closure and kind of have this nice little packaged unit of however many episodes it ends up being, um, but kind of complete and on the shelf. And then 
what's fun about Scoop Tricks is you get to the end of it and you can go back and start rewatching it again. And because of how things evolved and the characters evolved throughout the course of this show, you know, you can pick up more uh, nuances that were, uh, some of them were even planned. Um, the other one, will Kevin Bacon ever get revenge on Celestia? <laughs> we, we, we have a rule, no spoilers. <laughs> so, uh, but, but we have some amazing stuff planned, I gotta tell you. It's, nobody is ready for what is coming in Scooter Tricks. Not, not just this one, but yeah. Um, other questions? Questions? Oh, I got one. Uh, I believe I can answer this. It says, uh, why is the bird? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I uh, I'll raise you one better. How is the bird? That's a lot, Woody. It's that there's no confusion. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll do one now. Uh, what are our thoughts on the vapor trail? It's on the. That's all it says. One of the vapor trails. Okay, I personally love vapor trail. Just saying. Uh, I thought she was just really adorable, and she's got a great name, <laughs> and she's got a really great sneeze. Yeah, that's going to be a no for me, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I have one. Okay, uh, so what is your favorite of Rich series? It is totally not Jewel Shade. I will say that right now. <laughs> It's a tough one. I have, okay, I have basically three favorite of Bridge series, and they are uh, the Mentally Advanced series. <laughs> Ultra Fast Pony. <laughs> and Friendship is for Adults. <laughs> all pony ones, because I, I kind of grew up with the Pony of Bridge series. I do like Dragon Ball Z and everything, but the pony ones are kind of like the ones I got interested in. Uh, and they just, they're all really good in their own ways, like Ultra Fast, if you haven't seen any of these series, I highly recommend go watch them. Ultra Fast is like the funniest of them, Mentally Advanced has the best characters, and then uh, Friendship is for Adults, like all the characters feel like real people, and it gets really, like if you get into it, you really get into it. Uh, and so they, they all have, they're all really great in their own ways, but those, those are my favorite of series. series. Uh, there's this really small kind of upstart one I don't think anyone's heard of. It's called Scooter Tricks the Abridge. <laughs> That's my favorite one. <laughs> What's a Scooter Tricks? Uh, yeah, I gotta admit I'm pretty arrogant. I, I tend to watch a lot of Scooter Tricks um, <laughs> because I, I just like how stuff came out. And uh, but I also really enjoy the carb and watching uh, Ultra Fast Pony and Friendship is for Adults. Uh, I. I Magic is with witchcraft is okay. It's it's good. Yeah. I'm not done yet. Come <laughs> on. We're aware. Look at that. Uh oh. Do you want to have the rest of our team who's never even seen this video? Oh yeah, uh, our team will come down and be watching with you. Yeah, have fantastic. That's one of the interesting challenges is, is you build these little things in pieces and nobody really gets to see all the pieces except for the director at the end of the day. Yeah, can we bring the lights down a little bit so Do we have magicians working in the back? We're going to test the sound real quick and I'll restart it. I think it works! You heard it live. Alright, uh, so hopefully it will be loud enough. But uh, here we go. This is... Uh, yeah, it's not 10 minutes, I'm sorry. It's a good almost 15 minutes. Policy! Um, it is Brody Cog. Yeah. And uh, yeah, for those of you who haven't seen it, you don't need too much context. Uh, or at least I hope you don't. But uh, 
Yeah, it does. It doesn't start where we left off. If you've been following along the series, so it starts what, a couple episodes. I will say that he, uh, I have thing. Did you guys see it? Oh, there we go. That's just. Okay. All right. <laughs> I have hands. How do you not know what hands 
time. Why are my legs so long? Well, Celestia you did say things would be long. Mm. <laughs> ah, ah, oh, 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 man, that hurt. Oh, I'm oh, just kidding. Oh, there's a loop. What's happening with the door? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we're all here. How's everyone doing? Uh, I'm kind of having trouble keeping it together, man. Yeah. This is really weird. Um, I've been weirder. How do I even care? <laughs> like this. It's gonna be okay. Alright, we're, we're we're not alone. Celestia is sending a ton of other ponies with us, soldiers and stuff, so you know Sunset will be outnumbered and outgunned. With all of us together, she can't win. So so we gotta stick together? No, we gotta find her first. Everyone split up. Oh come on, man! <laughs> hey Pinky, any luck yet? No, not yet. Hey, um, what does Sunset actually look like? Oh, um, I, I don't know. Please let me come with you, man. No. Please, no. You can't just leave me here, man. I don't want to be alone. Okay, you cannot freak out on me right now, Fluttershy. Twilight, I've lost three of my limbs. All my organs are in different places, and my legs are freaking long, man. Yeah, well, I have more limbs, so... <laughs> <laughs> He said he didn't know what she looked like either. I, I wouldn't worry about it too much. You know, it, knowing Celestia, things tend to work out. So I just feel like they dumped a bunch of ponies in here without any coherent plan. No one knows what they're supposed to do. No one knows what Sunset looks like. And I don't even think there's any actual creatures here anymore. They've all been replaced by ponies. <laughs> I'd be surprised if we found her at this point. There you are, Twilight. I've been looking all over for you. Uh... Sunset Shimmer? Yeah? Where were you? Where's everyone else? Everyone else? For Janet. David broke up with her, remember? We're all going to go cheer her up. Make her feel better? Uh... Janet. Janet? Break up. You and Fluttershy and all of them said we'd get together and cheer her up. Yes! Yes, that is what I said we would do. And I was looking for you. And now I found you. And... I was going to tell you to... Meet us in the music room, because that's where we're meeting. Oh, good. Yes. So, you go you go to the music room, and I'll get the rest of us in there. Um, do you feel all right, Twilight? Yes. <laughs> okay, we have everyone here? Yes. Okay, good. So, I was thinking we could bake Janet a cake. Now, I know that's a little old-fashioned, but cake now! Uh, yes, now. No, now! Uh, I'm confused. Is something supposed to happen? Yes, get her! What? Wait, that was the plan? We tackled her? Oh god, the jig is up! She's gonna eat us, man! I did What? You can't fight like this. I can only kick with one leg, remember? Wait, I thought we were gonna kick her with friendship. What is going on? Why is everyone acting so weird today? Guys, I think she's already been friendshiped. What are you talking about? Yo, um... Uh, I'm not seeing any hostility here. So what? W what do you say? Um, maybe there was a mistake? No way. Celestia's never wrong. <clears throat> when? Well, um, there was this other parallel dimension. Yeah, I think dimensions throw her off. Throw who off? Oh, I think you know who. Uh... Princess Celestia! Who? Princess Celestia! Okay, you guys are officially freaking me out right now. Is this a prank? No, we're trying to kill you. Okay, maybe I'll just go take care of Janet. We all seem to have some things to discuss. Uh, if you need me later, I'll be at the food bank. Food bank? Yeah, we volunteer every Tuesday, Twilight. We volunteer every Tuesday? Oh, God, it's Tuesday. Twilight, seriously. Okay, hold on. So, so you don't know who Celestia is? No, I don't, okay? Guys, this isn't funny. Please, just stop. Twilight, I don't think she knows. Yeah, man, I think we got the wrong one again. Okay, can someone just please, please explain to me what's going on? So let me get this straight. You're 
homies, pretty much. And what is the Celestia think on her arch nemesis? I think it's arch nemesis. Well, I think it's because her name is Sunset, and it's scaring the living daylights out of her. <sighs> no, no, that's not the reason. Well, I, I don't know, because... And Celestia's really wise, so... Really? Yes! Why are you guys saying that? Um, well, she did send Fluttershy the Burden Eye into the wrong dimension. She declared war against two empires at once, and it took her forever to figure out Spike was sending her the letters. Ah, good times. Okay, okay. Maybe there was some sort of mix-up. So then, there's another sunset running around, right? Yeah, looks like it. Or, it's completely just because of your name. Spike? Well... Is there anything I can do to help? No, I don't think so. Well, then what? Do, do we just go home? Well, that's the problem. As long as Sunset's here, Celestia will think that she's the one and send more ponies over to, you know, take care of her. Thanks. No, we gotta tell her. Ha! Like, Celestia's gonna listen to reason. Of course she will! Nah, she'd never believe you. Well, then, we'll take Sunset with us. Back to Equestria? Can she even do that? What will happen to her form? Um, well, we all became these things. I expect she'll become a pony. I'll become a pony? It's not as bad as it sounds. Probably is. <sighs> okay, look, if we take you back, explain, and show Princess Celestia that you're already a great friend, she'll realize that she's wrong and she won't bother you anymore. No, she won't. Yeah, she freaking was, Mike! <laughs> Sunset, how would you like to become a pony? I have to admit, that sounds kind of cool. Then let's do it. <laughs> Twilight Spark. Wait, 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 Princess, Princess, let, let me explain. Um, so I know how dangerous and evil you said Sunset Shimmer was, but the other elements and I met her, got to know her, and we think there's been a big mix-up. Sunset has shown no hostility to us or you. As a matter of fact, she's friends with our parallel selves. Sunset, you, you wanna step in here? Oh, sure. Um, Your Majesty, I think what Twilight is trying to say is, Princess Celestia, my arch nemesis, will <laughs> again in the most unusual circumstances. <laughs> what? <laughs> so, you thought you would just send your little goons to take me out? Pathetic as always, Celestia. Why do you even face me on the road? So I used your precious moments against you. I use them to lead you right to you, face to face. Darn it, Twilight, quick, laser her to an oblivion! Uh, I can't! I have lost in this entire life to impale her! Not impale her with your heart! Uh, I, don't, I don't think I can do that. Sure you can, you just, like, stick up. I can't stop what you want it. I'm just a pony! Oh, a lot of Why can't you laser her? I, because... Because she can't. <laughs> Celestia's power is drained in my presence. I am her kryptonite. The god of the sun is powerless against the god of the sunset. Darn it! She is my doom! She is Sunset Shimmer! Yes! I am Sunset Shimmer, and you are powerless in my presence. Yes! Because your name is Sunset! Yes! My name makes you powerless! Because my name is Celestia! At last, it looks like the sun has set on Sunset! Why? Fine! I owe you 20 bits. <laughs> what the twi- I, I guess, Princess? Twilight, Twilight. What did I tell you to do? Uh, well, go to the parallel universe and... De d destroy Sunset. And instead, you... The Defended. Brought her back to my royal chambers! <laughs> but I thought she was good! Twilight, some advice. Celestia is always right. <laughs> Twilight, I could have died! I was completely defenseless! She scares the living daylights out of me! To be fair, Celestia, you did say that Twilight would bring her back. Thank you, Luna. Not about you. <laughs> Friendship! <laughs> The elements! Oh my god, the elements are not a negotiating tool! Okay, they are a zapping weapon! You zap people with them! <laughs> say this! And from one who has been zapped. Again? Not about you. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> Twilight. Look, friendship isn't always the answer. Well, I mean it is, but this time it wasn't. So, uh, just go home. 
Get better soon. Okay. <laughs> Man, what a rush. God, that was awesome. Yeah, real good. I totally called it with them bringing her back. Yeah, I, I was there. I saw it. Ah, oh, where, where'd you blast her to? The garden? No, to Tartarus. Excellent. Ah, oh, we gotta do that again. Oh, bring her back. <laughs> no, I've had it with you and your stupid nemeses. <sighs> Luna. Why must you always be the screen door on my submarine? <laughs> <laughs> Sunset Shimmer. I totally forgot to mention that takes place earlier in the canon, so I know the events in episode 24 that may have seemed a little confusing. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, so now we will do um, we'll do about 10 minutes of Q and A, and then we'll do the trivia. Con. Won prizes. Hey, we did have one question. Who came up with that plot twist at the end? Do you remember? I think. I think it was me. I think so. It gets muddled up. Enjoy the while. Like, who came up with what? Okay. Uh, so, again, if you have any questions, if you just joined us or have any questions for us, um, I think there's the bucket still down there. Uh, you can just write down the questions. Uh, but, yeah, here we go. So, how do you properly pronounce? Spaghetti, uh, Nuda, Sp mm, uh, <laughs> maybe Spaghettiules. Um, can we expect another crossover, a series episode? Um, yes, I think yeah, yes. It, maybe. <laughs> yes. We can neither confirm nor deny. Yes. <laughs> we can uh, and, and who's that crossover with? <laughs> I just put Jack on the floor. Do you guys have any more? Have uh, no, I got it. Yeah. Uh, how do you like your steak cooked? <laughs> as rare as my contributions to Scooter Tricks? <laughs> uh, question I have is, I think it's it says what a pony, but I think it means what is a pony. <laughs> and I'm going to take a shot at this one. Pony spelled with an I, by the way. It is. Or an L. Uh, <laughs> it could be a Am I getting the question right? What is, what is a pony? Okay, we'll go with that. Um, in scooter tricks, uh, the pony is basically the tool that we use to convey a lot of emotion and meaning as much as we can pack it into it. Uh, we try to put lots of layers on the stories that we put together. Uh, with you harking back to episode 15, which was where we had um, Pinkie Pie drop the bombshell that they're actually in a TV show. And it's a question of, you know, what is reality, what is meaning of a right to your story, who really has control over what you do. And this is something that Jack and I have talked about uh, quite a bit in the past as far as writing. And we both had experiences where you're writing a story and pretty soon your character's doing something that you never intended them to do. And because it makes sense for the point of the character. You know, and what you wanted them to do, they can't do anymore because that doesn't make sense. And so then you have to like destroy all the stuff that you've written, but the character kind of has a voice. And uh, the idea behind that is, and you know, magnified onto the uh, scooter tricks world in this specific case, is this idea that uh, 
you do have, you are pushed and prodded by the world around you, but you always have that ability to influence where you're going, and you do have a say in what happens. Uh, it's not an exclusive say, but you do have the ability to um, have, have some control over your own life. And it's so much fun to use the Scooter Tricks ponies and the characters to kind of, you know, touch on some of these deeper things, the relationship between Celestia and Luna, and uh, everything that uh, Applejack went through with denial and uh, of what's going on and rarity with how she had to deal with um, handling issues, you know, by as a changeling and then, oh, that's something we should put out. Because I've heard this now like three times. People keep saying rarity changeling, rarity changeling, I heard it in writing class. We did that two years ago, people. We had the first changeling rarity. Yeah, just keep saying it popping up everywhere. No. So that's what we do with ponies. Advice on rendering the projects. Uh, if you're going to be doing much, uh, if you're going to be doing something that has a lot of visual effects, generally you just want a good computer to start off with. Um, obviously, you can search online for specific, you know, project settings or something. Find the best ones for After Effects, Premiere Pro, whatever you're using. Um, but generally, if you're going to be rendering lots of stuff and a long, uh, long length or what have you, um, generally just get a good PC and. But generally, sometimes you don't need to always need a good PC if you're just going to be doing basic stuff. But the more intense stuff, the better PC you need. So, yeah, the um, higher quality you want to export, the more energy it's going to take. Uh, you know, you're probably just going to put it on YouTube when you're starting out, so you don't need the most top professional quality uh, footage coming out. So just use, uh, you know, H.264, which is like the basic codec. You know, you got to know your codecs. So, um, make sure you're choosing the right settings, or else some programs might not be able to open it. It might not be able to be opened in YouTube. So uh, just make sure all your settings are good. Uh, download QuickTime if you're on PC. Uh, QuickTime has the uh, mod containers and also uh, animation codecs for uh, if you want alpha layers. It's just really helpful. Mm -hmm. what, uh, question for Eric. What, what did you use when you made the credits and the new set of credits? Ah, uh, yes, the credits. So uh, I'll also talk about the music while I'm on uh, well, this question. Uh, so I use a, mainly After Effects. It's a great tool. Um, if you're a student, you can get the Adobe Suite at a great 50% discount. So uh, go check it out if you're interested in uh, animation and that kind of thing. I got that recently. Uh, <laughs> the first intro, the, the intro classic, as I like to call it, uh, that one was just very simple. Just had shapes coming in, uh, Brooklyn Nine-Nine style, text animated in, very simple, very nice. Uh, music synced up with it. Uh, Jack created the melody for the music. I polished it up a little bit, and we settled on something we liked. Uh, the new intro, I added some uh, some 3D coming in, so you, you have that Game of Thrones style map. First, I animated the map 2D and had uh, some uh, you know lines coming in, and then I used that 2D footage and I had it like the camera pan around it like it's a map on a table. Uh, a big challenge was uh, zooming out to uh, the main uh, screen where the Q Mark Crusaders are like kind of going over their battle plan. Uh, it was pretty tough to kind of get the zoom out to work very well uh, because their the angle that they're at is like a very you know it's a it's a 2D animation show, so trying to match my 3D with that was a little bit challenging, but I think it worked out pretty well in the end. Uh, that and the, yeah, I did the Zeppelins in. I just made the Zeppelins in Adobe Illustrator, so I, uh, uh, they were just basically kind of a cell shaded style, uh, and I put the names right on it, just 2D for the intro, and uh, just animated them in. Oh, and a bunch of wax players, yeah, just throw those in there. <laughs> and that's it. Yeah, I'm JJ, it's my favorite director. Uh, and that's the uh, elements for a good entry. Um, okay, I have a question. Um, will Luna ever win? Yes, yes, she will. <laughs> Spoilers. Spoilers. <laughs> your favorite twist uh, that Abridged has uh, for that is different from the main MLP show? I would say, I guess the rarity is a changeling twist. And my favorite too. That's probably, yeah, that's probably my favorite. Or something coming up. <laughs> so we'll, see, we'll see about that. No spoilers. No spoilers. Uh, my absolute favorite is, uh, yeah, the, the mango tree forest. It was uh, it was 
you know, oh, it wasn't, no, it wasn't just a joke, you know, at the beginning. We had it planned out, you know what I mean? But uh, that part at the you're, end, you're amongst friends, you could tell the truth. That was like, that's just that's that was one. That's what's good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. With their existential crisis. Magic prices, magic prices, magic prices. It was out the button. Yeah. Oh, what well, she's looking up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Me and Jack were kind of like bouncing on some ideas, and that end part where it pans over like the apple field, and then like you see her first signs of doubt, and she's like, oh, maybe I'm wrong about this. Like that gives me chills every time I see it. And then later on, we have like the confrontation. She's like, you know, hiding her insecurities about like, you know, her parents and everything. It's just a it's great, uh, great twist, great plot line for me. That scene, that scene is kind of like the first indication of this, scene, that the series kind of goes in a more serialized, deeper <laughs> kind of direction. Well then, yeah, then Jack put in the, uh, it was when they did the sleepover one, and that's when, you know, she just ripped into Twilight, because Twilight was, Twilight was being what Twilight needed to be at that point in the storyline, but then we really knew, okay, this is something we can't let go now, and that was pretty much the bullet in the foot, we really had to figure out, and, and I just thought that was such a great concept and idea, so that's why I kept submitting scripts, uh, yeah, why just do that? Kept some, no, they did. So, uh, kept some many scripts to Jack to try to buy off on some of my ideas for, for that storyline. That was, that was fantastic and fun. Chris, you want to do a quick favorite twist? Um, I guess the CMC being the general is really bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, thank you all for your questions. We now have some questions for you. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, so, here are the quick little so. Uh, we have quite a few stuff here, um, but we have these very nice mouse pads. Uh, they are from the artwork from episode 14, and it has the original shooting script for episode 14. Is that, is that up on the screen? Yeah, it's, uh, yeah. We do, I don't even know what mouse pads are. See it on the right? First person we see that hands go up, so that's basically yeah, how it'll work. Okay, so we have a couple mediums and larges, and that's all we have. Um, sorry, Scope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have mouse pads for Scope. We have mouse pads for Scope. Alright, so here we go. Here's the first question. Uh, how many bits did Celestia and Luna bet that Twilight would bring Sunset Shimmer back to Equestria? 20 bits. 20 bits, that's right. Nice one. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, so who are the sweethearts who have just broken up that Sunset Shimmer wants to bake a cake for? Oh. Thank <laughs> you. 
of photo finish. Okay, let me, let me give you a different one. Who voiced the part of the bird's arch nemesis? Picard? That's yeah, wonderful. He also did photo finish. <laughs> so if you ever see our, our little photographer, gasp, I'm here now. Or blind uh, photographer. Medium or large? Uh, large. Large. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you all uh, It moves and waves <laughs> and so much like it. What animal is flush shy and most afraid? Rabbit? Yep. It's yes. Okay. Up to the There. What are the names of the two spies who impersonated Fluttershy and the bird? Two R. Two R. We've been to signal that we need to wrap it up soon as well. So. Yeah. Oh yeah, we gotta. Even though we're still there. Uh, just one more. What are the cow curses? Name each one. There are four. Just name three. What? That's what. I wouldn't wrap up right now. The two chains means I don't need the R, but I don't get prize. We'll just move on to another question. Yeah. yeah. We're, we're really close here. Yeah. The size of it. Yeah, that's yeah. good. Yeah. Okay. What are the characters? It's name each one. There are four. Next one. Next one. Next one. Next one. <laughs> In, the episode, uh, in what episode do we first hear the arch nemesis line? My arch nemesis, so we, so we meet again under the most unusual of circumstances. Yes? Yes! Nothing. Go. Go. Uh, well, <laughs> I think we're about out of time here. Maybe uh, the frantic signals from the back, so I guess we're going to have to wrap it up. T-shirt can. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Excuse me. Yes. I have absolutely